Hello everyone, um, welcome back to Transport Fever 2 Tropical Fun. Now before I get started here, I'm uh, just going to uh, say that this is going to be the final episode in uh, the Tropical Fun series, unless I come back to uh, revisit the map in the future. So uh, I'm going to do a relatively straightforward project here. I'm going to connect up these three industries, the oil and the coal mines, to this hub. And that's that's basically it. Then I'm going to, um, you know, look around the map a bit, um, you know, comment on a little bit on how the uh, how the game has gone and so on. So let's uh, let's get started. Um, need um, cargo station yes so I'm gonna need uh, one of these pointing this way I think yeah. did that actually get in catchment yeah it did tendril okay um, and then uh, right Oh, how am I going to do this? Am I going to make one through line? No, I'll make a branch for this one. Uh, so here. And I think, yeah, I'd have to come in on this side. So put that there. Okay, now just name them. That's uh, Berkeley Coal Mine number two. So that's what this will be. Coal mine number two. Yep. Yeah. That's Berkeley coal mine. Yep. Yeah. And this will be coal mine. Yep. Yeah. And this is Berkeley oil well. Right. Whoops. Oil well. And that is Berkeley Oil Well. <clears throat> Good. Right. So I just need to bring this into three of these platforms here. There's plenty of platforms there, so I don't need to worry too much about that. Uh, so I'm going to need to... Um, well, I'm going to need to put some tracks, right? Uh, so I'm going to uh, connect these up. Because I'll use these... Uh, these platforms. Um, wait. Oh, I don't need catenary on the track. Um, right. Uh, okay, so uh, how am I going to do this? Well, if I ran just one train on each of these, I just need one track to each of them. So I just bring three tracks. You know what? I'm going to do that. Okay, so that means, well, we'll just make that sort of level. And why does it do that? Okay, bring that one out and that one out. Yeah, I'm just going to do... Why is it... Okay, now we need to come around here. Yep. Uh, that's that should uh, that should line it up okay and then this one okay now it's snapping good um, yeah I'll just do three single train single track lines here uh, and then this one yeah no I'll just go around uh, like this and like this okay that should allow me to get two tracks by that okay so naturally we're going to fling some trains at this as well um right um okay Good. 
Now, theoretically, I can get away with two tracks up to here and split it. But, yeah, I'm not going to. Um, right. And then that means um, I need to bring one of these around here. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, this one has to come around as well. Okay. I'll get this one all the way around. Uh, that connects up okay, so I'll, I'll take that. And here, does that connect up? It does. Okay. Um, okay, well, I'll take that. Good. And we don't need any signals on these because they're single track links. So now let's go find where a depot is. Um, we don't have depots out there. And we don't have depots where we just put the uh, tracks. Uh, where it seriously there isn't a depot out here uh right hmm oh no there is there it is uh yeah you're all all one of you was screaming at the screen you know it's over there right okay so i need i need tankers for one of them and uh Gondolas for the other. Okay. Well, let's go with our trusty um, GP9 and cargo. Now we'll go down to our tankers. That one. Yeah, we'll put that one. One, two. You know, that seems like it's enough. Uh, and then we'll uh, take those out. And we'll grab... Uh, we'll grab a couple of gondolas. We'll buy two of those. Yep, yeah, okay. Now, uh, okay. So if I do that, I can find the uh, depot again. Now this one... Oh this one will be a new line and it will go between here and here yep so that's gonna be cargo rail was i calling it burke um oil w to burke hub now let's uh yeah, I was calling it Burke. Okay, now we'll get this back. We'll add one of these going here to here. So that's going to be Burke Coal Mine 2 to Burke Hub. Yep, and we go over here and we get the last one. Uh, which will go here to here. Yep. Uh, we're going to ride this one. Um, okay, so this is going to be cargo rail, Burke, coal mine to Burke hub. Yep. Uh, that's, uh, yep, that's that. Okay, we can close this. Yeah, so that's really all we need to do with the uh, with the modern uh, uh, freight capacity and the trains. We can actually move quite a bit with a single train back and forth. Um, okay, so we'll uh, do this, and then we'll do this, and 
I'll leave the uh, I'll leave the train bit up while I uh, um, discuss a little bit here. So, uh, the new uh, series of Transport Fever Two, I do have one planned. Uh, should start next Monday, and um, that's a whole week. Uh, but I want to have a little bit of time to uh, figure out which mods I'm going to use and a little bit of planning. Uh, no, I'm not planning how I'm going to actually build the game out, but uh, planning a little bit of the uh, setup, right? I have the map ready, and uh, uh, it's going to be a different sort of uh, series. I'm going to be building things a little bit more, with a little bit more deliberation and care. And uh, I think I'm going to uh, put, you know, edit the uh, resulting videos a little bit more so there's a little bit less boring stuff. Uh, so you might see uh, bits sped up or, uh, or the odd, uh, you know, jump cut or fade cut uh, to uh, uh, additional, you know, like over the boring laying track across 100 miles of planes type thing. Um, and then it'll be more down to showing the the plans, the result, and probably riding trains more. Uh, I think that's uh, probably uh, more um, interesting than uh, watching a guy lay track for the 11th time. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking of. It's also going to be a uh, map. Uh, the goal is going to be connect everything with passengers, like in this map and the previous one. And, but it's also going to be a goal of connecting everything to the uh, every every producer uh, industry to every uh, to a you know, matched up consumer industry. Uh, what that means is. Uh, the plan is to, uh, you know, if, if there's a sawmill, make sure it's connected up to two, two forests. And that, uh, the plan is to do that all with bespoke uh, lines. That doesn't mean they won't share tracks, but uh, I won't be doing the, uh, the hub thing unless there happens to be a natural hub set up in the area. I'll also be starting not in 1850. Uh, because I think there's just a little bit too much tedium starting in 1850 and by the time you get to the point uh, where you can do anything useful uh, you know you, you basically you're bored with the game right so I'll uh, I'll talk more about the map when uh, when the new series starts uh, instead of having a, an empty day though uh, this week I'll be uh, putting a second episode of Surviving Mars out. Uh, you know, it's, it, it, the, uh, the current playthrough at 1075% difficulty is just getting to the point of bringing colonists in, and I should be able to get that uh, operational in the next two episodes. So tomorrow will be Surviving Mars, and Thursday will be Surviving Mars. Uh, that's not a permanent schedule change. Uh, Transport Fever 2 will be back to Monday and Thursday um, next week. Okay, so we're uh, working our way out uh, to the hub. It'll take a moment to get there. Uh, I'm not running this on, uh, on um, hyperactive speed or anything like that. Um, right. Oh, something else with the um, the uh, new series is I'll be putting a little bit more effort into balancing lines as well. Uh, you know, to make it, making sure that uh, the throughput matches and so on. Uh, so that will uh, that will ne necessitate some fiddling off camera as well, uh, just because it's really really tedious, which is why I haven't done it on this one. Okay, we should be coming up on the uh, hub real soon now. Uh, 
All right, we're, we're, we've come up on the traffic jam. That's what we've done. Yeah, I foresee the new map will probably involve more trucks and uh, probably, uh, possibly, uh, air air uh, passengers, uh, passenger air. Yes, that's what it is. There might even be some air freight, but probably not. Yeah, we definitely found a traffic jam, didn't we? Oh, we're moving. Okay, we're just about up to the uh, to the uh, hub. Hopefully, everything uh, uh, connects up uh, properly. It should. I'm pretty sure I launched all the trains out here from that uh, station, so it shouldn't be a, a problem. get through here. That's good. I don't see any trains blocked up ahead of us here, so it looks like uh, everything's working. Now there's the uh, oil train. I think. Yep. Okay, now we're headed out for the uh, coal mine. We should see the other two trains on our journey here. Okay, there's the other coal train. Oh, rats, we can't see inside those, uh, those cars. Yeah, that's definitely the, uh, the tankers that we launched as well. Yeah, I forgot to turn off catenaries when I was building the stations. Oh, well, I'm not going to go back and fix that. Yeah, there's the other train. Okay, so everything's working there. Uh, so, uh, basically... Uh, so that's that's all I'm going to mess with on this map. But what I want to talk about is what worked and what doesn't really work about what we've what I've done here. Now, what works is uh, the collection points on the various stations. Um, I should actually uh, put a couple of truck lines in here. Oh no, they're attached to the to the um, uh, train station. Uh, right. Um, what works is the individual lines collecting from the, uh, shuttling to and from the uh, individual industries. Uh, what doesn't work well 
is the hub system. Uh, the hubs would need to be planned a little bit more carefully and the uh, uh, goods going to and from them would have to be planned quite a lot better. Uh, I think uh, what would have worked better is uh, uh, separating the various cargoes onto different uh, interhub lines um, so that there would have to be um, four platforms for each interhub connection, uh, one for each type of uh, cargo. So uh, gondolas, tankers, flat cars, and box cars. That would allow balancing things a lot better. That would probably also mean that it would need four track lines between the hubs. Uh, but as you can see, you got large, um, large cargo, um, uh, you, know, you know, backlogs everywhere. Uh, and that, uh, I don't think it can really be balanced properly with the uh, hub network I've set up here. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we're bringing in 30 odd million every, every game year. So there's that, that works. The other thing that works is the passenger network. Uh, that uh, set up quite, um, quite effectively uh, and has been working even on old steam trains uh, quite well all the way up into our 1980s timeline, our time frame. So that. Uh, some of these uh, complicated track laying bits here, they worked out nicely. You know, that's the sort of thing that uh, the new series will probably involve uh, showing a lot of. Uh, various things like, uh, like these interchange uh, projects, uh, they, uh, they worked out nicely. But even the original uh, level Y junction here uh, worked out pretty well. So, so that carried a lot of traffic for quite a while without causing any real problems. So overall, the uh, you know the setup worked pretty well, uh, but the the hub network style didn't really work. Uh, what would have worked better is like say here, a uh, uh, you know some sort of a, a hub station to collect the uh, products from the farm. And then take it on to a, uh, you know, say here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six farms here. Uh, we might have benefited by having a single station collecting grain from all six and then bringing it over to probably two food processing plants, right? You know, so that, you know, bring in eight farms maybe into a hub and connect it out to two food plants. Uh, you know, that kind of hub setup might have worked better. But that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. It's not what I did here. But you can see we've got... Um, let's turn off the uh, numbers. But as you can see, we've got this uh, ferociously complex, uh, apparently complex anyway, network of rails all over here, right? And we have uh, one... Uh, maritime passenger line which uh, is working nicely with hovercraft now and we have a couple of uh, I think we have yeah we have a couple of uh, cargo lines I think or did I replace those I think there's some cargo lines anyway uh, but I don't I don't remember for sure um, but anyway, uh, that's really the uh, that's really the the post mortem there. Um, you know, we got uh, some uh, towns with goods being delivered. We got some that grew quite nicely, uh, even though we weren't focusing on it. So, you know, it worked out okay. Uh, if I wanted to, I could probably get some passengers moving with aircraft, but uh, you know that I'm not going to. Uh, of course, because it's the end of the series. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, see if I can find here a nice uh, 
passenger rail uh, excursion. Eh, we'll come from come out of Thornton for our uh, original. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll come out of Thornton. Um, that one is, uh, oh yeah, that's, that's the big one up to Berkeley. Does it just go to Berkeley? Yeah. Okay. Um, and this one goes out the other way. It goes... Ooh, that goes way up there. Yeah, I think that'll be the one we ride. And then there's a third one here. And this one... Oh yeah, it goes up the interior up to the... Up to the... Okay, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I think we wrote that one last time. Uh, or a couple times ago. Uh, no, here. So this is the one. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put the, this one on for a, a, a ride, and uh, and we can uh, kind of enjoy that. So uh, that means we need a train, and that's on that line. So I'll uh, get on board here. Uh, and then what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to shut up, uh, I'm going to turn off the mic, and then I'll let this run all the way out, all the way back, and, uh, and that'll be the, the end of, uh, of the Tropical Fun series, at least for now. I may come back and revisit the map in, in, at some point in the future. Uh, okay, so, uh. That's all of me yammering. Uh, the series is uh, done. See you back uh, in the next series. Oh yes, I should do the proper sign-off too. Uh, so, you know, stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And now, see you back in the next series and uh, enjoy the ride uh, until the uh, end of the video.